And welcome folks, welcome to a very special video. Today I want to celebrate the one year anniversary of my channel. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe it's already one year. I did not believe that I would, well, continue to produce videos for such a long time. Didn't even think that I would complete my first Let's Play Kingpin. So I would like to take this occasion um, of this one year anniversary to celebrate a bit with a very, very special game. My channel, my name is of course the Elevator Simulator, so there's only one game that we can play. Namely, we are going to play today the most advanced elevator simulation that was ever created. And that is of course... What? Do you think elevator source? No. This is LiftSim, a program created by Matt Ward in 1987 and programmed in QuickBasic. Uh, he has recently updated this a bit and made it more accessible for other people. But this game, this simulation is so extremely detailed. It's really amazing. So we're going to play this today. We're going to well look a bit into it. So the first thing which we have to do is set up a people's database. You're already seeing here people coming out of elevators and going into elevators. Um, so I've already set everything up, but I want to guide you through the whole process. So let's quit for a moment and go into the people editor. And welcome back. We are now at the people editor of LiftSim. Here you can add all the people that are going to walk around your building and uh, use all that fancy lifts. At the moment there's only one record and it's a bit uh, strange at the moment because it says no records even though technically it is a record so there is at least one record if you get my meaning. Um, there's a lot of stuff here on the screen. There's you can press E to edit a person in list, R to add random people, which we are going to do in a minute. You can could press X to quit this program, which I will not do. And you can press D to delete your whole file of people. So at the moment there's only one record. Um, and we're going to edit it by pressing E. Now you see that Person one is, uh, and then it says no records. That is the name of this person. So we're going to change it by pressing N. Okay, um, I'm going to add some people of one of my one of my previous let's plays. The first one will be Thug. He is of course male. Um, then you can change where he enters a building by pressing E. So there are various options. You could if I press four, then he will enter through a random part of the building. He could enter through one of the um, lower grounds, three, two, one, or he could enter from through ground level. So at the moment we are just we'll just enter through ground level. Then you can input a resident floor, pressing R to change that. Um, you could either enter a sp specific floor, you could enter, so that's a number uh, between 1 and 35. LiftSim supports up to 35 floors. Or you could enter 40, which means it will ultimately, it will pick a um, floor in the lower region. You could pick, set it to 41, where it would pick a floor in the middle region. Of your floor which of course depends on the size of your building or in the upper region so I will enter 40 for lower floor and you could change the movement habits pressing H to change this so the if, um, the various options here so th this numbers which you see there um, in this table 
tell you um, how long it takes um, usually for a person to enter or which intervals a person enters or leaves a building. So these numbers are in minutes. Uh, zero, which is very low movement habits, means it would take anything from 45 to 120 minutes or it could take up to two hours for that person to ever enter the building. Um, I will give him, I think, a medium setting. Okay, then gender is male, that's okay. Then pressing X to finish this record. You will now see that um, this first line says zero, one, this is just the number of the number of this inhabitant, then down arrow, which means he's on the lower floor. Um, two. Okay, I. Um, okay, I don't know at the moment. I don't currently what uh, what this twenty four means, but in any case, so M which is Lou says that he is male and then he is, there's his name. I'm going to add some more people. Okay, we are going to add um, Nikki, which is also from the Kingpin Let's Play. And I hope that I do remember this correctly. That was a male person. Okay. Um, yeah, he will, can also enter through ground level. Resident floor. Giving a middle um, floor and movement habit, let's say high. Okay. Then we are going to add um, the kingpin. It's of course a male. He enters the building, let's say through lower floor. He of course resides on the topmost floor. Our building were, is going to have. 23 floors, so I will put him on the topmost floor. And his movement habits are very low. Okay, then some more persons. Okay, let's see, we could add our female person like N, that nurse from our Stin Let's Play. She is female. Enters the building through the lower ground, maybe resides, um, say, on a lower floor also, and her movement habits are very high. Um, yeah, then we, of course, John at John R. Blade, whose name is too long, but maybe John R. Blade will do fine, yeah. He's male, he enters the building, Ground floor resides on, let's say, first floor. The movement habits are high. Then we ex uh, add also Alexis Sinclair, whose name is too long. Okay, maybe E Sinclair. She's, of course, feminine. She's very feminine. She resides on let's say also the topmost floor, the movement habits are unpredictable. Okay, now we have some, entered some persons, we, of course we want to have a lo lot more persons in order for this simulation to be um, interesting to watch. So we are going to add some random people by pressing R. You can enter a change number of people that it adds by pressing U and D. I'm going to add, um, let's say, 70, 50 people. Yeah, 51 people. X continues. Okay. Um, I will go through this um, person by person by pressing Y. Okay, this, uh, it creates a new person every time I press Y. Um, 
The first few letters are the stats R M G R M E and G. R is the resident um, w where the person resides. M is the movement habit. E is um, I don't know. And G is the gender, of course. So this is a boy, which is 12 years old, national, nationality English, and appearance happy. So that's also actually the name of that person, of that boy. And I'm just going to go through it a bit faster now. Okay, now you see all those persons. Um, which have strange names like 15Y max bracket double uh, colon bracket uh, brace, I mean. So this is the name. These are the names of these people. Um, okay, and I think we're done. So we have set up a database of um, some 57 people. They are our people with the recognizable names, and then there are all, there are all those other peoples. Um, now we can go launch the lift simulation itself and set up the building. And welcome back. We are now in the main program, and we you see that we are on setup page one of, I think, two pages. So the first thing which you have to do is, well, we are going to set up our building. So we have to specify the number of floors it has, which does not include the lower floors. So the topmost floor should be 23. Um, I hope that it actually doesn't count the lower floors. Um, let's see. So yeah, it doesn't count the lower floors, so I put this to 23. Then the number of lower floors, um, I think one lower floor is enough. Okay, then um, next thing which you can do is select an express zone. Express zone means that the lift will not stop in that zone. So usually in a building which is very high, you have an express zone where, which are consists of some floors, uh, of some middle floors, so that if you're on a lower floor and want to go up, you can go up fast. So we're going to add an express zone starting on floor 8 and finishing on floor 23. I know, 22, that should, yeah. So that's the reason, region where it doesn't stop. So we now we can, if you are on any floor between uh, up to the seventh floor, you can go directly to the 23rd floor. So we can also install, uh, add some amenities floor. These are floors like, um, well, whether there's a cafeteria or something, and, um, I don't know, uh, a gym or something like this. So, we are going to add one cafeteria, which is on the second floor, and the gym, which is on the fourth floor. Okay, now it's on the third, no matter. Um, yeah, the rest of the settings we are going to leave, the color options we are going to leave unchanged. You press X to get to the next uh, screen. So here we can um, set up some things like uh, yeah, mostly display options. Um, I'm not going to mess with it. It's currently set to full screen mode. This is you can change that by pressing F. It has sound enabled at the moment. But um, I will, however, change some status screens. I will enable the call information. I just pressed S two times and I'm going to change the diagnostic screen. I want to um, keep track of our 
of some of our people. Yes, this should be correct. Um, I'm not going to save the settings. Uh, then we're finished, I think. So I'm pressing X. Okay, now I have, because I have selected um, this diagnostic screen where you can concentrate on uh, some people, I will just enter those people. So the first, yeah, it doesn't know the name because it didn't load up the people's database at the moment, but we're going to add the first four persons and these will be watched. Okay, now we're finished. And now we're going into full screen mode. And now it has loaded up the people's database. Continue by pressing any key. And now we are in lift simulator. So we are keep currently keeping track of Fuck, Nikki, Kingpin and N. You can see that they are all out of the building at the moment. And you also see um, on the right hand side the position of all the elevators. So the left, the rightmost elevator is on the second floor. The second most, uh, rightmost elevators on the first floor and so on. So at the moment there are not many people in the building. Um, you can actually check how many are in the building by again pressing shift S and change the diagnostic screen to people's icons. Here you can see what those icons mean. So a grayed out a face is, that means that that person is out of the building. Green um, icons mean that person is either walking towards or walking, walking towards the building or moving on the floor. And the most interesting option uh, uh, icon is the yellow icon, mean, which means that that person is currently inside a lift. Okay, you can see that there are no people in the building whatsoever. We're going to change that by changing the mode this building is currently in. Pressing shift or we could just wait. So currently the mode is morning peak. That means that 65% uh, of all persons should be in the building. I'm going to leave it uh, on this setting at the moment. So the people are going to enter the building very slowly. We are, uh, we are currently at ground level, which you will see because there's letter G, but we can also call lift and enter the lift. So let's press down, down arrow and we call a lift. And there's some, someone inside. If we wait too long, then the lift will close and there's a three-year-old English man. And we can enter the lift by pressing X, I think, yeah. So Z, X, C, and V, those are the buttons assigned to all the lifts in order from leftmost to rightmost. So we are now currently in the second leftmost elevator that's on the right-hand side, this um, pink moving block. We, you can see that we are currently in the express zone where the lift doesn't stop. So that means we are going to go all the way up to the 23rd floor. Now we are on the 23rd floor, the door opens and we can get out. So let's get out when the door opens. So we are now on the 23rd floor. Yeah, and you can see more people leaving and entering the building. So that is lift sim. It um, simulates a lot, um, a lot of behavior of people. Um, yeah. It, so this is an ex extremely amazing piece of software, um, and to you should bear in mind that this is written in Quick Basic, one of the worst programming languages I think there are. And this was written by 
as I already mentioned, by Matt Ward. I will put a description, uh, a link to this program in the description of the video. When he was, so this was written by Matt Ward when he was only 15 years old, which is quite impressive, I must say. So, yeah, this is Lift Sim. Um, I'm just going to let it simulate at its own speed. So this is, yeah, today is the one year anniversary of my channel, as I already said. Um, I started this channel because I watched, obviously, other Let's Players. And before that, yeah, I like to watch Let's Plays. I might like to do some Let's Plays myself. Um, what else is there to talk about? Maybe my name. Uh, it's a bit silly, I admit. And the reason why it's silly because I chose it to be silly. Because I wanted to pick a name which is so silly that nobody else has could have already taken it. But I have to admit that I didn't actually come up with this name myself, but uh, this was inspired by a video of a famous British Let's Player in one of his Resident Evil Let's Plays. And if you... Um, and if you can figure out, if you can uh, name precisely the Let's Player and the video in which he mentioned the word Elevator Simulator, then the first person who does so is allowed to pick a game which I will play. So this is a little challenge which I'm going to put up here. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite surprised that I'm still doing videos today. Um, yeah, I started, my beginning was very humble. Let's just say my first video is really, uh, I'm totally scared. If you watch it, um, I sound totally scared because I am. And of course I know that there are still things that could be improved. Um, my videos, or to be honest, mostly I could be improved. Um, but I think the quality of the videos has increased over time. I, um, especially the, the Kingpin videos, um, the last Kingpin video was actually encoded in a different way than all the videos before, which you might notice because the file size of this video is smaller and uh, than of the previous videos. So I was, yeah, when I started with um, with Kingpin, I did all of my recordings with the that video editor that came with Windows XP, the Microsoft Movie Editor, something like that. No, Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker. Which is a nice piece of software, admittedly, because it's out of all the um, video editors that I've tried that are free of charge, it's really, except Blender, it's the best one. However, there were some certain limitations, so I switched to Blender eventually. Uh, Blender is a fantastic piece of software, and I all do all my video editings in Blender. However, um, the encoder is not very good. Um, so I, what I've, um, so, so since my last Kingpin video, I do, I encode all my videos just into an, uh, into a lossless, AV file, and then I encode it with FFmpeg. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, yeah. So I'm glad that I'm still doing Let's Plays and that actually finished three of them. I'm now uh, 
My keyword let's play Sin and Woodruff and the Schnibble of Azimuth, these are my fourth and fifth, no, these are my third and fourth let's plays. I can't even count, yeah, third and fourth let's play. When I finish Sin, I think I'm going to do a shooter again, but a very special shooter. One shooter which I think there is not um, a let's play of at YouTube on YouTube at the moment, but maybe um, you can, if you can suggest something interesting, I might play something different. Yeah, there have been uh, my view numbers also increased. A lot um, in the during the last few months, so I'm quite surprised with that development. I just got three more subscribers. I'm currently at four. Yeah, so I will hope I will hope to continue doing let's plays. I will also try to keep a re regular schedule of one video per day, one upload per day. You might, I might not be able to um, keep up with this, um, with the schedule because, well, because of me. Sometimes I just, I'm too lazy or I'm too busy to upload videos I've already recorded. Sometimes I'm a bit late recording them, but I, that's um, my goal to upload one video a day. Yeah, uh, you can. Yeah, let's. Uh, uh, let's. Um, I think that's yeah. Everything which I want to say at the moment about my channel. Um, so let's play one. Some more with lift sim, so you can see the uh, the icons there of the people, which again means something. Hold on. Uh, t t t t. Okay, I just yeah. Okay, that's. There again is the explanation of all the meanings um, of all the of these icons. So you see that um, out of the four, five people that we named, currently three of them are in the building, and the majority of all people are in the building. There's one person walking around on the floor. That's male person, English. 24 and we can also find we can also find this person by pressing shift F this is the person locator you can see there all the people that are in our database and where they are so um, you can see that M N which hold on um, am I misinterpreting this? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in any case, so N, which is person number four, you can see that she's apparently on the topmost floor. Fuck is out of the building, Nikki is on floor number 13. Um, and John, no, oh, that can't be, there is no 41st floor. Okay, that, that number apparently means something different. So, well, there's the list of people and you can call 
a person to a specific floor by pressing R and then uh, enter the, the number of this person. So let's call Mrs. Alexis Sinclair to um, floor number 15. So I'm, so I'm curious as to what happens now because technically we can't go to floor number 15 because that floor is in our express zone. So we can't go there actually. We will exit now at the next floor, but before we exit, we are going to press all the buttons. Because why not? One, two, and let's exit now. Okay, that was uh, a bit nasty. Okay, you can see Nikki has just moved. Uh, I think so, at least. Okay, Alexis Sinclair is now in the building and she is somewhere in this building. Maybe we sh I should switch to the other display mode. Um, yes, info on four persons. Okay, let's change four to um, okay yeah this uh, assignment okay this is a bit confusing so pressing free no pressing free edits person number four okay so I want to pr edit person number two so I press one Okay, never mind. So I, I just reselect people. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit confusing, this setup screen. Okay, any case. Um, Okay, person number four, this should be not John Blade, but Alexis Sinclair. And then I think we swap Nikki with John Blade. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now we can see um, that currently only John Blade is in the building. He's in flo at floor number six. So let's go to floor number six. Pressing down key. And wait till the elevator comes to serve our building. Yeah, by the way, these um, green dots on the right hand side, they tell you which, uh, which area a certain elevator serves. So the right, the second rightmost elevator serves all the green dots. We're now on the sixth floor. Um, yeah, so the rightmost elevator at the moment serves, okay, now serves all the floors and the, all the other, okay, now the rightmost elevator serves only floors six to zero, yeah, level six to lower ground. So it changes. And now we can see the kingpin walking to the lift. And he's on the lower ground. And he's still at the lower ground.
Okay, let's go down. Or maybe we should wait. Um, because I think the Kingpin has now entered a lift. Yeah, he's in the second lift, which is uh, the second leftmost lift. And he's now moving up. You can see the pink block moving up. I think he goes to the 23rd floor. He's now in the express zone. And he should enter now and leave the... Yeah, he's heading to the 23rd floor and he should leave any moment. Yeah, he now has exited the lift and is on floor 23. Okay, let's call Mrs. Sinclair, person number six, to the lower ground. She should now enter the building, eventually. Uh, and we can see John Blade moving. He's on the sixth floor, heads to the fourth. Okay, maybe we should... Let's visit um, our cafeteria. Which is, I think, second floor. And there's John Blade coming in. He wants to go to the fourth floor. Let's annoy him and press all the buttons. Uh, yeah. You can help. Because I hate you. John. No, I don't hate you. Let's follow John. Okay, uh, let's go back inside the elevator. And, oh, too late. Let's call another elevator. And we've served by the right, second right mouse elevator. So f elevator number three should, the door should open. Let's see. Okay, let's go to the second floor because that is an, uh, our cafeteria floor. It's the night. Hmm. Maybe because this is going up. Okay, um, I have to press enter, I think, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I should maybe change its um, status to display because it's obscuring the view. Uh, okay, let's leave here. This is our immediate floor. I'm going to change the display back to showing the people. Now shows again all the people, and I think Alexis Sinclair has entered the building. Yeah, so you can see that um, all of Slow have di different color designs. They are chosen ran randomly. You can also edit them. Another cool feature of Lift Sim is that you can hear chimes of elevators from floors below you, and they will they will be um, they will sound. The volume will be reduced according to the distance of the floor the elevator is to your floor. So if we are lucky then we might hear a faint chime of an elevator or a floor down below. So there is currently the next nearest elevator would be the first elevator on which is on the ground floor. Nothing happening in the, at the moment. Um, let's change the mode. So we are currently at morning peak. Shift O brings you to this menu. Let's go to lunchtime. So that would mean that many people go to the amenity store to go to lunch. So 
This is now lunchtime and many people should now come out of the elevators on elevators, not elevators. What's an elevator? No, an elevator. Many people should now come out of the elevator on this floor because it's one of the amenities floor. Amenities floors. And you can see people pressing buttons here. And then again these icons. Okay, someone some people are now coming out of the elevator. Um I think or going into the elevator. Um hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, pink means going out for lunch and um, blue blue icon means that the person is currently out for lunch so you can see that no person is currently going out for lunch which is strange considering that it's lunch time and now it's evening Okay, let's change this again to um, let's change this to daytime. Hmm. Maybe if we wait long enough, then people. It's, it's strange that um, no one went for lunch, even though I set it to lunch time. But let's wait a bit. Um, I have to recheck that. Hmm. Okay, some people are at amenities floors. Um, yes, some people are. Okay, I will try to one more time to shift it to lunch time. Now we should see many people, many of their icons switching to pink or light blue. But none of them do at the moment. Mm. Okay, let's check what our uh, our people are doing, our distinguished people. Okay, John is currently on the third floor. And I pressed the wrong button. We can hopefully Go to the third floor also with this elevator. Um, yeah, something is strange with these the lunchtime setting. We know what oh we're at ground floor. I want to go to the third floor. And 
you can see the kingpin walking to the lift, walking towards the lift. Okay, we are, I don't, I still don't see any people in lunch mode. Um, maybe this is a bug, I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid. Okay, so I think this video is getting a bit long um, and it's not so, well, there's not so much to see, uh, which is entirely my fault because I don't, um, I don't can see N coming out of the elevator because I don't mo know um, this lift sim so well. I've just installed it a few days ago because I thought this I found it um, by chance on YouTube and I thought this would make an appropriate game for the young one year anniversary of my channel. So this simulation ex is extremely, extremely detailed. Um, for instance, it actually simulates the, de the delay between people pressing a button um, or it can happen. It can happen that the person enters an elevator, that a simulated person enters an elevator, and presses a button, but presses presses it too late. So um, it, that person can't go to the level to the floor it wants to go. It even simulates that. So it's extremely extremely detailed, and there are a lot of modes. Um, which we haven't seen. So one mode which is very, uh, which is much fun is emergency mode. You can evacuate your building and you can also open and close the building door. So you can close the building doors and try to evacuate everyone, which of course is going to be a problem. And you can see now the icon um, icons on the right hand side, the icon which lo looks like two eighth nodes. That means that these persons are on the amenities floor, so N and the kingpin are currently on amenities floors. Let's follow John. John is going apparently to the sixth floor. I wonder what business he has on the sixth floor. Let's follow him. So maybe that's, yeah, that's where his resident floor is probably because I think I, I signed him a lower floor. And you can see now the bright yellow colors of the elevator doors. Okay, let's do something fun. Let's close the building doors and let's evacuate. That should be fun. Of course, all the people are going to go to the ground floor. Of course, they can't leave. Um, Okay, let's go to the ground floor. And you can see that it says building doors locked, so the people can't leave and you see many icons going to uh, chaining to the car to red. And again, red color means that that person is walking or tries to walk away from the building, but um, they can't as long as I'm keeping the doors locked. 
So all the icons there should change to red if we wait long enough. Yeah, that's, that, that chimes that you hear, these are actually elevators on floors above us. So this, the last chime, that was an elevator on the first floor. And um, now we, you heard that this chime was a bit louder. So yeah, it, it simulates, um, it's extremely detailed, the simulation. And it's, I think it's an amazing piece of software. <laughs> I can't believe that that anyone actually took the time to write such a detailed elevator simulation in Quick Basic. This is just fantastic. I mean, yeah, I, I encourage everyone to try out LiftSim. You first have to install a program, a program which is called Quick Basic 64, which is in active development and supports OpenGL. Then you um, have to download LiftSim itself, which you can find, um, there's a link on a forum post on the Quick Basic 64 forum. I will put links to it in the description of my video. Then you have to open these Quick Basic files. A lot of people now exiting. We have to open these Quick Basic files and then compile these programs or um, into an executable. Don't worry, it's it's very simple. And then Quick Basic 64 will produce for you an X file, which you can then just run by double clicking. Yeah, um, the first time you, you start up LiftSim itself, it has to calibrate itself, which is an automatic process um, it t takes a takes a while, so therefore I I skipped this part. And didn't show it to you. Yeah, um, I I encourage you definitely to try LiftSim and tell your friends about it about what an awesome lift simulator LiftSim is. Yeah, that maybe I should unlock the doors now. And put this back to, uh, no, let's just leave it on emergency evacuation. Now the people can actually leave. Yeah, I will just um, wait here until those people have left. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little special video. And this, I hope you also liked LiftSim. Um, yeah, one last thing, um, I, which is a minor thing, but um, when you want to quit LiftSim, I, I didn't figure out uh, how, how to quit LiftSim because it, it was bound to, if it, the key it was bound to, um, to exit LiftSim was a very strange key, so I changed it. So there it says Shift L to quit LiftSim. I actually changed that in the source code and recompiled it. So by pressing Shift L, I can now leave LiftSim. But before it was bound to a very strange key, and I didn't didn't figure out how to quit LiftSim from inside the program. So Yeah, that is um, something to keep in mind, that if you can't quit this program, then, um, or if you want to have, have an easy way to quit LiftSim, you might want to also change that. Okay, that was, that was basically it. You saw 
I think a bit of this simulation. Um, I've talked a bit about um, my channel and how I, well, I got the name, how I came to the name Lift Simulator. Also, do not forget about my challenge that if you can tell me which English, English Let's, Let's Player mentioned the word elevator simulator in one of um, in a Resident Evil video. If you can tell me the episode and the let's player, you can you are free to pick a game that I will play. But of course it has to be something old because I'm or something at least it has to be something which isn't very resource intensive or expensive because my machine is not um, not that powerful and I play mostly elder elder games yeah so I think that's everything for now all the people except one person which is shown in blue has left the building um, I think that's a good time to stop the video and then, yeah, we will see ourselves in one of the coming Let's Plays. So, I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, I'm always interested in comments or feedback. So, if you find something you like or didn't like in my videos, feel free to leave a comment. Um, yeah. So, until next time, folks. Until then.